How's it going, Tricksy mates? This is... This Charles. And we're back. We're back with Clanad. The Drama Club Extravaganza. That anime that's apparently really good, but you never get round to. Or maybe you do, I don't know. I personally never really thought playing this game until I found out it was the best visual novel ever, apparently. Um, again, though, I'm still waiting for a real kick or something that will really get me into the game. Because, I don't know, is it just me? Or is the style a bit off? Actually, a few people have said that, to be honest. So it's not just me. But I don't know what makes this one the best visual novel ever, uh, apparently, according to Metacritic or some shit. But anyway, previously, Sonohara went missing, and we went to the drama club to see our, our girl speech, see if she can speak well. So we're going to see how that goes now. Hey, don't you think it'd be a good idea if you decided on what you're going to say ahead of time? Oh, good. So she didn't make a speech beforehand, did she? She could have done it on her Sony desktop PC there, but, you know, she just wanted to wing it. Which is a bit like, well, a bit unlike whatever her name is. So hard to remember their names. Furukawa. Okay, you're right. I'm good at memorization, so I should stick to that. I'm not going to help you decide what to say or how to say it, though. I don't know a thing about drama. If anything, I'd want you to teach me about it. Wait, wait. We said before that we didn't want anything to do with the drama club. Just to be as, like, help it develop the, the club itself. We wouldn't be a member. That sounds like we're being... Turn to the, the, the drama side here. Okay, that's kind of nice, I guess. I'm the same way too. I just wanted to be in plays. I actually don't know a single in-depth thing about them. Oh, good. A bomb's a, a bombshell has just been dropped by the president of the drama club. Well, shit. So much for actually, you know, having a play. So we just joined to be, you know, melodramatic assholes. Okay. Mm. Hey, Furukawa? Yes? Why do you want to be in plays? Because I like them. I mean, so do I. I mean, I like them too, but I'd be scared shitless to go on stage. What about them do you like? I think it's fun to be able to act with everyone. As a child, I was always absent during school arts festivals and things like that. That's why I was so dead set on joining the drama club. So when I started high school, I really wanted to work on my acting so that I could get cast in some of the plays. That's nice. I'd, I'd totally watch one if I was around, but I, you know, I don't exist in your universe, so what can I do? But I was in no state to do that during my first and second year. And I took all of my third year off. Does anyone actually do their work in this school? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. In other words, her enthusiasm for being in plays is basically just the desire to work with others in a group. Yeah, I guess that makes some sense. She wants to be part of something where everyone comes together to accomplish a single common goal. It's a nice idea, I suppose. And by doing that, she'd then be able to realise a dream that has gone unfulfilled all this time. That's all. I just like them. Furukawa lets out a small sigh and then presses her hands to her chest. She must have spoken for too long. She seems tired. She's this frail, this fragile. She's like a little ladybird, so don't step on her. Yet she's trying to charge forward. How could you ignore her after seeing that? I... Certainly wouldn't be able to. You pass. So I tell her that. S sorry? Just use that as your speech. What you just said. It was kind of short, but I get this feeling that you were able to say exactly what you wanted to there. Are you trying to console me? No, I'm serious. I'm not the kind of guy to beat around the bush. <laughs> sorry, I, I thought the thing about bushes might be referencing his pubic hair. That that's what I thought when I saw the word bush. That's true. Sometimes you're so blunt it hurts a little. Yeah, so you can believe me when I say that. The only problem is... Sorry? Whether you'll be able to say the same thing when it's time for the actual meeting, and when people actually come round. Oh, you're right. You tend to fold under pressure, right? Yes, I do, unfortunately. Well, there you go. It looks like the drama club's gonna have to close down now, kick you out of school, and uh, you can work as a baker or some shit. The question that pops into my mind next loops all the way back around to the beginning of our conversation. And how are you going to be able to act in plays? <laughs> I mean, it is questionable, but again, she just wants to be part of something. I guess that makes sense. Furukawa continues to practice for the information session. Okay. The idea of everyone working hard towards the same goal is wonderful to me. Won't you work to accomplish these goals alongside me? We decide to end it on that note. Is it just those three lines? Is that your big speech? It, it might work, but it just might not, you know? Her words are clumsy, but I have a good feeling about her tone. It's eager, genuine. Question. 
I raise my hand, pretending to be a new student. Please go ahead. Uh, <laughs> what kind of guys you into? Well, I'm not a pervert, so no thank you. What kind of plays are we going to do? I mean, that's a good question. I mean, the drama club would ask that, wouldn't they? There are lots of different kinds of plays out there, though I don't know what they are. Fair. This is probably the one thing that any potential applicant would want to know most. Yeah, true. What kind of plays? She thinks for a bit. There's a bunch of different kinds, right? Like fairy tales for kids, or musicals for adults, or Shakespeare. Give me something Shakespeare. I love my Shakespeare. I've seen all the plays. I'm not even joking. Are there? I'm going home. Oh, please, wait. Give me an answer then. Just say something. Okay, um, well, uh, fun plays. Now that's what I'd call a vague answer. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. So ones that make you laugh? Comedies? No, not necessarily something that makes you laugh. But not so serious that you can't laugh. Plays that make you cry? I guess you could say that they make you cry. But then again, not necessarily. Funny or sad, which is it? Somewhere in the middle. <laughs> oh, she's so cool. I want to pick her up and put her on my shoulders. She's trying to cover for it with her smile. Oh, whatever. Huh? So, was that a good answer? Well, I'll say this. You at least gave it a shot. If you clam up, you'll just make people nervous. So, as long as you're sincere about trying to answer their questions, they'll at least be able to see your excitement. I mean, I, I guess that's nice, and... I don't know. I mean, she has a chance. I just don't know how the other students are going to act. I mean, none of them are our friends at school anyway, so fucking... It might be nice to see her try. Yes, and I hope they do. That's at all, That's about all you have going for you right now, after all. Mm hmm. We continue practicing for another hour or so. Furukawa's voice starts to get hoarse, so we decide to stop for the day. I mean, fair enough. Uh, did you not think of doing any speaking? Well, I suppose there wouldn't be much you could speak about, but you know. I mean, I get you trying to coach and stuff, which is nice, but you would have thought maybe, like read like one of her favorite plays as like an exchange thing i don't know once again the two of us start walking home together i see a familiar guy ahead of us on the street is it sunahara it's sunahara what's he doing out and about what's he doing here this hour furukara is to my side these two are the last people in the world i want to have to introduce to each other well i mean like worse things could happen i mean heck he might even be more enthusiastic than you um, there's not really options here, is there? It's go past him or go past him. Like, there's no... I thought I'm going to get spotted anyway. I'm just going to... Oh, no, I'm going to top one. I did the second one last time. Hey, do you think we could walk farther apart for a bit? Pardon? Sorry, but I want you to pretend that we're strangers. I see someone I know. Who is it? A friend? If it's someone you know, then I'd like to say hello, Okazaki-san. But Furukawa's got the right idea. She's not an antisocial prick. Now nah, you don't have to worry about it. I politely decline, then push her away. Wow, even better, we just abused her. Mm? Furukawa gives me some space. A question mark still visible over her head. Just as she leaves, Sunara notices me and takes her place. Yo, so you are alive. Ha, what are you talking about? I thought the rugby team dragged you off. Oh, that. I made them I made them say uncle when you weren't around. Yeah, somehow I doubt that. I mean, your arms are so weak, you'd probably lose against a ragdoll if it was an arm wrestle. Liar. He probably ran off and was in hiding all this time. Probably, but we didn't think to actually, you know, try and look out for our friend. I and mean, we went looking for him, but only because we didn't want to get fucking detention or whatever. It's no lie. I heard the word myself with these two ears. Uncle. For some reason, I don't see members of the rugby team actually saying uncle. <laughs> For some reason. Mm. I glance behind Sunahara. Furukara is there, waiting faithfully. Oh, <laughs> well, at least she's sticking with it, to be honest. I'm surprised she didn't, you know, fucking run away and crying. I motion to her with a, my head to go on ahead of us, but she doesn't seem to understand. She just tilts her head to the side. Oh, good. Hey, aren't you hungry? Yeah. You want to treat me to something? Oh, joy. I don't have that kind of money. You never have that kind of money. Everyone's broke and dumb around here. 
How are you not going to repay the favor after all I've done for you? I know you use my room all the time. What do you want me to treat you to? I look around. Nothing. There isn't anything here. Oh, that vending machine over there is fine. Give me that caramel soda. It sounds like it'll keep me full for a while. I mean, sounds alright. I actually look forward to going to Japan and trying the vending machines. But I think I'll be too scared for most of the flavours because I don't like fruity flavoured drinks. Might be healthier though. It's his idea of a joke. There's no way Sunahara would want something that sweet. But... Furukawa, who's been pretending not to know us until now, overhears him and walks over to the vending machine. <sighs> Joy. Joy to the world. Duh, 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 duh. Okay, and then... Beep thunk. Huh? Sunahara turns around, reacting to the sound of the vending machine being used and abused. There he sees Furukawa holding a can of soda like it's something highly important. If you'd like, please take this. She holds it out. And she does. I cover my forehead with my <laughs> Wow, he's really desperate not to get his friends together. I mean, like, yeah, they could end up dating, but still. Uh, what? It's my treat. Who the heck are you? My name is Nagisa Furukawa. Okazaki-san has been helping me out a lot. Is that so? Sunahara looks over to me. Oh, dear. Yeah, it is. I reply grudgingly, my hands having a slight slid down a bit to uncover my eyes. She's not your little sister, right? Nope, she isn't. How do you know each other? Good question. Um, I wanted to make a drama club, and he's assisting me. Anyway, that was a bit awkward. I mean, she looks like 12, so no. But Okizaki-san isn't a member of the club. I'm the only one in it. I'm the club president. Gah. <laughs> She's telling him everything. Seriously? Yep, that's right. I have no choice but to come clean. So this is why you've been saying you don't feel well lately. He makes an unpleasant giggle. Oh, good. We've been found out. Well, there goes my life. And the drama club at that. I'm surprised, Okazaki. You're interested in something as disgusting as club activities? Just have a life. Just have a hobby. Just, you know, do something with yourself. Produce. Not reproduce. Just, you know, have a hobby. <laughs> I thought you hated those kids in clubs so much that they made you want to puke. Oh, dear. What? Furukawa looks my way. I suddenly feel the impulse to punch Sunahara right in his stupid mouth. That's how much I wish he wouldn't talk about this. I thought that was the first thing we realized we had in common. Okay, now I'm beginning to think if he's holding a grudge or not. Just eat whatever you want. I pulled a 1,000 yen bill from my wallet and shove it into Sunahara's chest. Ooh, thanks. Okay. It sure pays to ask. Later. Okay, bye friend. He leaves satisfied. Well, I guess he finally got his treat, but still. Sigh. Okazaki, was what your friend said? I knew she'd be the kind of person who'd let that affect her. Oh dear, how's this going to go down? We're going to go on a swing and talk about it? Like a dad that's abandoned his child and has come back saying, yeah, I didn't mean to after like 12 years. I was on the basketball team in middle school. I was on the varsity squad, but I got in a big fight with my father right before my last game. K, okay. And I ended up injured, so... Wait, he beat you up? Oh. Well, that's not exactly pleasant, but okay. So I couldn't play. I quit after that. Mm. Why am I telling her my life story like this? Maybe because she's your friend? Did you consider that? Did you consider maybe you guys get along? I mean, just how badly do I want to tell Furukawa my sob story of a life? What, do I want a validation or something? In that case, I want to help you. I'm not surprised to hear those words. I want you to be able to have hope while you're in high school. Just like I do. She hides her face. She must be blushing. Like, she has to absolutely... If she's not, then there's something wrong with life. She probably wants to add, thanks to you. I only now realise how masochistic my confession was. I never wanted her to touch that scar. I can feel my face getting red. I see. It'd be nice if that could happen. So I look up at the sky. It shines silver beyond the roofs of the town's buildings. 
I wait for the wind to blow on my face and cool me down. Three years ago, life at school was going great for me. I was captain of the basketball team. Because of my athletics, I pretty much had any and every high school open to me to choose from. So the plan was to pick a good one and keep playing basketball once I got there. But that path was suddenly cut off. It was because of the fight I had with my father. It started over my appearance, or maybe it was how my shoes were messy by the front door. Either way, it was something stupid like that. Regardless, we started shoving each other, which eventually escalated things into a fight. Then I hit my right shoulder against the wall. No matter how intense the pain got, I stayed stubborn. I just shut myself in my room, refusing to do anything about it. By the time I did go to a doctor, it was already too late. I'd never be able to raise my arm above my shoulder again. So, no, he can't play at all. Oh, no. That sucks. Oh, really? Well, I don't know why this guy's so hopeless. He, doesn't, you know, he, he can't like, aspire for his dreams. God, I'm glad I had my thin fingers as I wouldn't be able to write and have a book to look out for. Well, that's a bit of a, 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 a bombshell there. I didn't expect to have something like that. It does explain a lot, though. Like, it explains his personality, but still. I mean, maybe he could, like, just use his other arm or something? I don't know. I think that's a good place to end this episode, like, so I can recover from that emotional, you know, force that has impacted my insides. So, yeah, I guess now we know why because I'm such a dick. Um, next time we might see Sunohara join the drama club or something, because I hear he does join, but I don't know when he does. But yeah, how's that going to happen? When is it going to happen? Well, we may see that in the next episode. But yeah, if you want to play the game for yourself, have a bit of fun, you know, getting to know these characters as I have just done, there'll be a link to the game in the description down below. Without further ado, look up for the book subscribe channel until next time. See ya!